Lil Yachty definitely just dropped the album of the year. Let's Start Here is such a great and just interesting change from Yachty. And I just think the production and atmosphere that he builds on this album is amazing throughout the entire thing. And while Yachty's vocals and lyrics don't really live up to the production, they definitely aren't, you know, terrible. It's not like it, they're all super corny or anything. And they they really work in general. Just either way, this is an amazing experience. And I was w listening to this album and just smiling throughout because this was so much better than so much else of so much else of like Yachty stuff in the past and this was such an interesting change from Yachty and a change in the right direction because this was so good starting off with Black Seminole this is an amazing song the beat begins with some synths building up the atmosphere the production is actually beautiful and goes so hard on this song Yachty's vocals don't work as well on it but the atmosphere still sounds so good the electric guitar sounds perfect on this one but then when it kicks back in with the women's vocals the instruments with the synths and the hard-hitting drums work so well the song is such a bombastic and amazing way to start this album the ride the production has so much funk and although i don't really like the vocals from yachty when the instruments come in during yachty's chorus it sounds perfect tizo touchdown is a perfect addition to the song and just this whole album it works perfectly and the transition from this to the next song works amazingly as well right now time another funky beat with a sharp bass line yachty's vocals sound a lot more in tune with the instruments on the song and he fits in well the psychedelic vibes on this song are amazing and the compliment that justine sky's vocals have to yachty's is great as the trumpet backs them up creating a nice harmonious sound pretty i don't really like the lyrical content of this song as i think it kind of shows the limitations of yachty but the fact that a song like this sounds so beautiful with the layered instrumentation shows how good the production is Fush fushi's voice sounds beautiful in her voice and the song is you know pretty amazing for one of the worst songs in my opinion failure another great transition from the last song into a smoking word verse by yachty with a simple guitar creating a beautiful atmosphere, this song is a perfect time to just understand the magnitudes that Yai took this album to. The interlude also just works well with some choir in the background, working to make the song sound pretty good for just like an interlude or spoken word verse. The zone, the production is solid on this song as well, but it kind of lacks into comparison with the rest of the song. The build on this song and how it seems to be all around you really works. And the song builds to an eventual crescendo that doesn't happen because it transitions into a verse by kaya cohen who actually sounds beautiful the women on this album are absolutely amazing we saw the sun another great transition from the zone to this song the production is great with the bass in the background creating a great atmosphere the layering of the vocals uh, in the background of the song just adds to the atmosphere and the vibe of the track with the drums carrying the main melody another great song drive me crazy the woman's voice is so smooth soothing and fits a seemingly soul beat in the background with the bass lead and the melody with the strings in the background yachty's vocals work great on the song as well and the synths in the background sound beautiful building up i've officially lost vision this is another great song this song has such an abrasive and in your face feel with the drums gain in your face the production on this song is so crazy and when it all goes down to nothing and then just the beautiful vocals of the woman like on the bridge of the song the end of the song is a little redundant and I'm not a big fan of it, but the first five minutes are amazing. Say Something, the production is a lot more stripped down and generic on the song, but he gives, begins to build in a few more instruments and an 808. I do really like the switch in production, but I don't really like Yachty's vocals on that part either way it's still a pretty solid song being one of the worst songs on the album paint the sky another perfect transition from this song before it i love how the production comes in at the end of the chorus and it sounds beautiful yachty's vocals sound great on this song as he lets the autotune blend in with the rest of the instruments and sound on the album should i be love the transition i think the production on the synth sounds great i don't really like yachty's inflection on the first verse but the lyrics on the verse are not good at all as well. But the drum work on this song is amazing, creating a great tempo. And I just love the chorus. The verses, yeah, are pretty bad. But the choruses are amazing. So, I don't know. It's Either way, it's just great. The Alchemist, another beautiful transition from the last song. Love the melody and the tempo created by the drums. The bridge with the woman's vocals is beautiful and fits perfectly with the song. The switches from quick tempo that Yachty has and this abrasive and quick speed that he has to the beautiful and slowing and calming sound with the woman's vocals is just amazing. And they don't sound abrupt at all. It kind of just flows into both of them. 
and just overall this is an amazing song and i feel like it all works perfectly together the last song is reach the sunshine another great transition the transitions on this album are perfect it sounds like pierre born where you have all these beats transitioning into each other and he adds in these things at the, la the end of songs and they just perfectly work into another one and a beautiful verse by daniel caesar to start off the song i don't really like the echo effect on yadi's voice but the build with the synths is great the drums after Daniel Caesar's second verse are amazing and the build they drive just sounds great. The slow breakdown to the piano sends the album off on a sorrowful tone, giving the listener a true goodbye. And this is a nice bombastic end down to a slow and crawling finish, which is like nice because, you know, the listener needs to kind of uh, understand what they took in through the whole album because it's just so amazing. And the production on this is just so good. Either way, though, this is just such a beautiful album coming from Yachty. And, you know, I wasn't really expecting something like this. I saw the Sonic Ranch leaks and I was like, I'm not going to listen to these. You know, I wasn't really expecting that much out of Yachty, even though I thought it was a really interesting dire direction he was going to take with the like psychedelic delic music and the alternative rock or whatever he wanted to go into. And people, I don't really know what people were saying at all. I just remember people were listening to the leaks, but. I don't know how these ones compare to those leaks, but either way, this is a beautiful album and to have this one release after all those leaks is just amazing and I don't know, Yachty just put his real heart and soul into this one. This is, I mean, it might be kind of derivative of some other works, I'm not really sure, I'm not like that into psychedelic rock, but this is such an amazing album and while, you know, maybe someone with better vocals or better lyrics could have sounded better on this this album this was a uniquely yachty album and it sounded beautiful and just bombastic and it really worked and just i wasn't expecting anything like this from yachty at all you know i wasn't expecting that good of an album i was expecting something solid because um you know psychedelic rock is you know a little different step from yachty i wasn't expecting him to put out anything bad coming out of a new genre but this is just something so amazing and when I was smiling just throughout the entire album, it shows that this really is a step in the right direction and is something that Yachty should be proud of because, I don't know, it's just something that listeners that listen to his old stuff should also like because it's just such a great album and just the production on this is it's beautiful and just stunning and everything he does on this album is great except for the album cover. The album cover actually sucks but... Either way, so far, to me, this has to be the album of the year. I I really haven't listened to that many albums this year, but this is definitely the one that takes the cake. You know, there's nothing else really like this this, this year, but either way, this is just, I don't know, such an interesting album coming out from Yachty, and I wasn't expecting him to go in this direction, but maybe if he does more stuff like this, I 100% am going to have to listen to it just because this one was so good. Either way, though, you know, love this Yachty album, and I think let's get, I think it's let's get started, is, or let's start here, is just a great addition to the Yachty catalog, and, you know, something that really shows his strengths as a musician, and shows that his production abilities are, you know, really solid. And with that, I would give Lil Yachty's Let's Start Here an 8 out of 10. So far, it's my album of the year and it's got my best rating, but this is just an amazing album, so definitely go listen to it if you haven't. It's such an interesting take on psychedelic rock and just Yachty's vocals in general.